so I want to see. I want to see two things, right? I want to see this, 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 this negative and positive. So if you could, you know, paint this picture for me, one of the worst things you see in prison, right? Growing up in there, you know, and also, you know, talk to us about what actually inspired you in, in prison. You know what I mean for your preparation process. You know, so I want you to go back a little bit. And, and you know, look at those worst times because you know we so, we've been behind that wall and a lot of things I mean, happen yeah, behind that wall. Mine, mine's is easy. The, the worst the worst thing that ever happened to me in prison was this dude, um, just like me and you sitting, we talking. You know, we had no beef. We had nothing going on. No beef at all. He came across me and stabbed me in the middle of my chest with an ice pick, mm -hmm. and it didn't penetrate me. The mm. ice pick was this long with a handy one. This really? dude was your really? size. Really? Really? Yeah. And the ice trick, the ice pick did not penetrate me. It did not leave a mark on me. Then he came across my, my hand with a knife and, and just like put a like a little slit in my arm, right? Like, a little, like, on my thumb, right? So that was that was like right then and there, I knew that I had a reason to be here. Mm, wow. You know what I'm saying? I knew I had a reason to be. I knew I had a reason to exist while I was still in prison because I used to I used to pray at night not to wake up because I was tired of living in, in my reality. Mm. You know what mm. I'm saying? And then here's somebody coming out and try to take me out of that reality and it didn't work. Mm -hmm. So now I so yeah, I gotta have a plan. I gotta I, there's something way way more that I could be doing out here. And you know, here we are. I'm an engineer now, citizen app. Um, I, got, I got my own books out. Um, I, I got a car wash where we hire young gang members where they shoot water, not guns. You know, we, <laughs> we, 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 I love you know that. Hold on, hold on, y'all. That's good. That analogy, I, I love it, y'all. I opened up a car wash on May 1st, man, and we didn't know, have no idea how we was going to do it, what we was going to do with it. And um, the whole plan was to hire the, the, young, the young brothers in the neighborhood who was like, no for causing a problem and give them something to do right. and now they they did right now running the car wash by themselves with the yellow t-shirt on says we shoot water not guns mm -hmm. there haven't been one incident since may 1st since we've been there not a fight not a nobody threw a rock not a not a shot that's nothing. right not it is. Just give it all, man. Just give it all, man. i was in clinton man and i was in the infirmary and i seen um i seen the the ku klux klan the CEOs dragged this homie in. You know, I'm not a gang member. I've never been. You know what I'm saying? With the homie, he was blood. You know what I'm saying? They dragged him in, and he, and he was like 99% dead. And they dragged him mm -hmm. to the firm, and he was still cuffed. You know what I'm saying? And I said, "Damn, what could he have done? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What could he have done different from what Emmett Till did? You know what I'm saying? Different from any any other situation like that to deserve to look like the way he looked, mm -hmm. and knowing." that he's not gonna make it out. You know what I'm saying? Standing up. Right. He died. Right. You know what I'm saying? They killed him, you know what I mean? And I said, yo, that could happen to me for no reason. Like a CEO could lie and say, I kissed that or I whistled that or, or whatever situation is, and they can lie mm -hmm. and, say, and say that you know, these things happen. And that right there was enough for me to see like, yo man, like I'm tired of this. 